Shh, don't excite him. Don't make him excitable. Welcome back, Stanley. Thank you, Michael. It's true. Around this office in the past, I have been a little abrupt with people. Not maybe, <laughs> yes or no. No way, uh-uh. Are you from another planet? Say Boy, have you lost your mind, cause no, no, no. I'll help you find it. Did I stutter? I'm done, goodbye. But the doctor said, if I can't find a new way to relate more positively to my surroundings, I'm going to die. Well, Stanley, we have turned this office into an intensive care unit. You have no idea how intensively we care. And today, your only job is to get better. <clears throat> oh, and also, um, expense reports are apparently due from last week. So if you want to be reimbursed. Welcome back. Nice. Welcome back, Stanley. Nice and gentle. Hi, Stanley. Yeah, fellas, that's what's hey, 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 come on. You're crushing his heart. You're going to kill him. You're going to kill him. Andy? A throne for your highness. I'm not sitting in a wheelchair. No, no, no. No debate. You are going to sit in that wheelchair until you are back on your feet. I'm going to die. So, Stanley Dog, I have made for you a mix of all my favorite Inya songs sung by me. That is slow, please. What do you hear it? Welcome back. Hey, Stanley, let me know when you need to go to the bathroom. What? Michael may be your bathroom buddy, so that you don't have a heart attack on the, the, like, crapper. I can go to the bathroom by myself. Oh, well, great, right? Well, then maybe I'll just go with you so we can talk about stuff. Thank you, Kevin. Are you gonna smile all day? Mm hmm Everyone is being so nice to me. So why do I find it so annoying? I've known Stanley for a very long time now. And when he was at the hospital, it was hard for me. His heavy breathing is comforting like the sound of the ocean. Stanley, I have a big surprise for you. Michael, I don't think surprises are what Stanley needs right now. It's okay. What's the surprise, Michael? I have for you a portable defibrillator. Shocking, huh? You should be very careful with that defibrillator. It is a defibrillator. I watch ER. Well, according to the Oxford English Dictionary, the proper pronunciation is debifrillator. Actually, it's defibrillator. D E F I B. I came in 17th in the Scripps National Spelling Bee. I got out on the word WYSIWYG, and then I gained 40 pounds. I am the defibrillator. It's defibrillator. I'll be Barack Obama joke. Racism is dead. OK, so how do we, OK, we turn it on like that. Whoa, you don't want to no, see? No. Oh, here we go. Turn it on. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Who's my first victim? Ah, uh, clear. Very dangerous. <laughs> it's very dangerous. There's a lot of voltage, oh, guys. A lot of voltage, a lot of voltage. No. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, ha! <laughs> Michael is totally unsuited to be safety officer. During Stanley's heart attack, he sat on his chest and shoved things in his mouth. We'll probably lose one employee a month. <laughs> I cannot wait to shake somebody's hand and defibrillate them. <laughs> I even have a catchphrase. You've been defibrillated. <laughs> hey, Toby. Hey. Put her there. What? Put it there. Let's just let bygones be bygones. Why are you <laughs> smiling and laughing? I'm just, weird. I'm just excited about Jake be friends. Okay. What was that? Oh, come on. God. No. Okay.